Hello guys, Josephine here. So today I'm going to be filming a what I got for Christmas haul video. I'm also going to be incorporating a what I got for my birthday in this video because my birthday's in November, Christmas is obviously in December, only a month apart, and I didn't get a crazy amount of presents for my birthday. Honestly, all I care about is spending time with my friends and my family, and the same goes for Christmas. I really that's what I really crave for presents is just spending time with the people I love. But I did definitely get sport for Christmas, I have to say. Santa was very good to me. Also, I'm really sick right now. I've got a little bit of a I've got a bit of a raspy voice. You can probably tell. I really want to get this video out because it's almost New Year's. It's gonna be in no particular order. I'll just tell you what I got as it comes. So the first thing I got was these little fairy slides from my boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend and my mum definitely spoiled me this Christmas. They gave me so many presents and they did not need to spend that much on me. So unnecessary but I definitely was spoiled. These were for Christmas from my boyfriend. They're from Ruby Shoes. I go into Ruby Shoes all the time. I always look at their, Oh, I just hit myself in the <laughs> I always look at their fairy slides. I have the black Fenty Puma fairy slides and I do wear them. But, you know, they're obviously expensive for slides for $100. And the Ruby ones are only $15 to $25. And they've got really, like, they've got a huge collection. And they're really, really cute. And I've always looked at the fairy ones. And I'm always like, oh, I like them. I'm like, will I wear them? And I looked at these. I was like, they're really cute. Would I wear them? I don't know. I always do that. And I'm like, yeah, I'll leave it. Because I wanted to save my money. And Scott went back and got them for me, which I thought was really cute. I actually haven't worn these yet because I haven't really. I wear these probably with, like, an all black outfit. And I haven't got a chance. But I'm so excited to wear them. And they're actually so soft. And... They're actually softer than my Fenty ones, which is crazy because these were like 20 something dollars or something crazy, I assume. And I really like it because they're actually crisscross. That's what made me so like intrigued by them and like them is because they had the crisscross, which I hadn't seen yet. So these are fairly new, so they will still be at Ruby. The next thing I got was from my boyfriend's mum. She's so sweet. She got Scott... And kind of, I guess, also for me because I'm the one that's going to be using them as well. She bought us these beautiful table, like, cutlery sets with, like, plates, bowls, cups, all that kind of stuff. Gorgeous, like, black and gold pattern, which was really sweet. And then she got us a bunch of amazing quality light grey towels. I'm not going to show them in the video because we all know what towels and plates look like. Also got me a diffuser, which was really, really sweet. She did not need to get me anything. Aroma Reads Musk Vanilla and Gerunium. That's how you say it. Smells really nice. Um, it's from Royal Dalton. These are great. Like, you can't go wrong with something that smells nice. As you can see, I love candles and all that kind of stuff. I love incense, oils, anything that smells nice, I love. The next thing I got, and by the way, I'm so sorry, this is, like, in no particular order. The next thing I got was from Scott's dad and his wife. They love board games. We got them a board game. I did not expect them to get me anything. And they got me Jenga, which is really, really cute. And the reason I, I thought this was a really sweet present is because a big part of Scott's family's life is definitely playing board games. I assume that when they grew up, they played a lot of board games and they still play board games to this day. And it's something that I've never really done a lot of, but obviously I enjoy playing board games. Who doesn't? I don't, I've never actually owned my own board game. Scott and I went out and bought Monopoly together. So lame and I'm trying to be sentimental over silly things. It's really sweet that they got me this because I was playing Jenga with Scott's, I guess, stepmom's children um, a few weeks before Christmas and we were playing Jenga and it was just like really sweet and nice and they got me this and it just made me feel like, like I'll tear up but it made me feel like part of the family because Again, board games is a big part of their life. And then they got me this. I just thought it was really sweet. And I'm tearing up. But And they also got myself, Scott, and Scott's brother. Voucher for like a like a $100 voucher to see like movies. Which was really, really sweet. Another Christmas present given to me from Scott, my boyfriend. These like massage type things from Honey Burdette. Honey Burdette is one of my favorite shops. Yeah, they have some really awesome gifts for Christmas time. And I was like going insane over all the gifts in this store recently. I really, really wanted them. But they were so <laughs> So expensive and Christmas time definitely I shouldn't be spending money on myself I was like no I'll do it when I get paid after Christmas I'll be I'll be good but he got me some of the things I really wanted he got me the melted caramel warming massage oil just put a little bit drop on my hand when you rub it into your hand and then blow it warms up and you can feel that it warms up which is so cool and Oh, it's salted caramel. It smells so good. And the second thing he got me from Honey Bear Dare is the salted caramel soy massage candle. 
The awesome thing about, oh, my battery is going low. No. Awesome thing about this candle is the fact that you heat it up, like you light it. To melt, you can actually pour the wax and use it as like a massage oil and it really does work. It's not hot at all. You don't like burn yourself if you want to use it. But I thought that was amazing and so cool and interesting. Next thing I got was some presents from my mum. My mum killed it this year. Like she went above and beyond. The thing she got was a hundred dollar gold class gift voucher which is awesome it's actually for me and for scott which was really really cool because we've been wanting to see movies for ages and i know scott really wants to see star wars another thing my mom got me was a lot of makeup I got to get it early like i would just go shopping with her and was buying makeup and she ended up paying for it she's like i'll get it for you for christmas which i thought was so cute and so sweet got me some more makeup i wanted to try out this bronzer i'm looking for some good bronzers and i've got a mixture of high-end and like drugstore bronzers and i still haven't found like the perfect one but I wanted to try out the bronze model co one. You can see it. It's very cool tone. The tester in the store is warm tone, which is why I wanted to get it. Terrible swatch. It's okay to like contour with. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but she got me my favorite blush from MAC. I buy this all the time because I don't want to run out of it. It's Blush Baby from MAC. Literally my number one favorite blush and I use it all the time. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My camera died, so I'm sorry if the lighting or the position has changed. My apologies. But yeah, here's a sheer toe blush. Here is a swatch. That's a few swipes with my finger. Looks a lot different on the cheek. I'm wearing it now, actually, if you can tell. Give Me Sun from MAC. I tried to get this at Mecca because they're actually selling MAC now, which is pretty cool. And they sold out. So I think a lot of you know this bronzer i've used a lot of it i've only had it for like a month or less best but it'll do last two things my mom got me got me just some eyelash glue this is the lash group eyelash adhesive from adele this is the black one so it comes out dark for when you're wearing eyeliner or like dark eye makeup and you're just getting a little white glue bit and then i just got the regular duo eyelash glue neither of them were as good as my favorite one which is the little tube from glam and a whole another bag full of gifts another gift my boyfriend got me was the ariana grande perfume you see me looking at it like a month ago it's not really great the packaging on the ariana grande ones are so cute the pom-pom they've got like a pink one as well so he just went in and got it for me like that's what I just think is the cutest thing. Go in and just get something that you think someone will like. I think that's so sweet. Because, yeah, I love it. And I've been wearing it a lot lately. It smells great. I don't know how to describe the scent, though. It's really fresh, but warm, not too girly. It's a little bit girly. I don't know how to explain it, but just, just smell it. It's nice. It's cool. I think it's the Moonlight by Ariana Grande, I believe. Next time, I've got me some Ferrero Rochers. These are my favorite chocolates. And look, they have not been opened. Willpower. My mama also got me some cooking, like cookbooks. Because I, again, I love cooking. So she got me these two, which is really cute. Like, didn't expect that. Just like a little treat that was added on. Now I'm going to go on with my birthday present quickly. My friends got me a voucher to Mecca. So I got three things from Mecca with my birthday voucher. This thing is the heavy metal glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay. Love putting glitter in the corners of my eyes when I go out or just even like on the regular. I think it's really cute and cool and fun. And I've been using like loose glitter and it just gets everywhere. It's really messy. And I saw this and I was like, yes. You definitely have to layer it. Next thing I got with my voucher was the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, which I'm actually wearing now. Stila had so many colors. This one is the Rose Gold Retro. Obviously, it's this one. Like, just this really nice rose gold metallic. It dries really nice. It's not too powdery. Last thing I got with my voucher was the Mecca Maxima Brush Freshener. This freshens up your brushes, and they're all nice when you want to put on your face. The last thing I got for my birthday was the amazing camera I'm filming on right now, which is the Canon G7X2 or II. I'm not sure which one it is. That was a birthday present from my amazing boyfriend. And then for Christmas, he got me lighting for my videos. A ring light slash tripod that holds the camera. Like, I was 
spoiled. The one thing I love about my boyfriend is he's truly been supporting like my interest in making YouTube videos and I didn't ask him to get me these things. I did not ask him. I didn't even really mention it. He got it for me because he knows that's what you kind of need to film videos nowadays and you need quality content and he just got it for me because he really supports me and supports my interest in that which I thought was the sweetest thing. Okay guys, thank you so so much for watching this video. My camera is about to die. Um, that was basically what I got for Christmas and my birthday for 2017. I was truly blessed and spoiled this year. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to be making more videos with my beautiful ring light and my camera. Stay tuned for that. Thanks guys. Bye.